What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicole Espresso, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. By the time this goes live, we've already seen the Zombies Chronicles reveal. It's been officially revealed 100% to us. We got look-ins at the gameplay itself. We got screenshots, all that good stuff. So I figured we'd do a little bit of a recap of all the information that is really relevant and that you need to know here for Zombies Chronicles going forward and now in terms of getting fully ready for this to drop next week. This video is your one-stop shop for everything discussed at the reveal here earlier today. So that said, let's just jump right into it. First and foremost, what is included within Zombies Chronicles? That is going to include eight Zombies maps remastered and remade essentially, not necessarily in how they play and how the aesthetic looks for it, but they were made from the ground up according to Jason Blundell, where there was no real copy and pasting over, but essentially the entirety of the map builds were made from things from scratch in Black Ops 3. So that is going to include Nocturne Toten for Rucked, and Shino Numa from World at War, from Black Ops, Kino Der Toten, Ascension, Shanger Law, and Moon, and then from Black Ops 2, we're gonna have Origins to cap off the eight maps within Zombies Chronicles. Now, the price for Zombies Chronicles is kind of a hit or miss with everybody, it seems like, from what I've seen from YouTube comments, Reddit comments, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. The price for Zombies Chronicles, these eight maps, will be $30, and it's not attached to the Season Pass, so if you have a Season Pass, you don't get it for free, you don't get a discount, nothing like that. This is its own separate entity, and something that is an extension of its own. The season pass covered all content in 2016, but now a year and a half since the launch of Black Ops 3, this isn't covered by the season pass. So it is 30 bucks for eight maps, though plus with additional content. Alongside the zombies maps, you'll be getting 20 vials of liquid divinium, two whimsical gobble gums that are brand new, an exclusive zombies pack-a-punch weapon camo, which I think we'll be able to use in multiplayer, which is absolutely awesome, I think, especially for my preference, because I play both zombies and multiplayer, so I'm hyped to use that basically everywhere. And then if you guys get it, either pre-order or at any point in time, you can get the Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles dynamic theme for PlayStation 4 as listed right now. I don't know if that's going to be something that transfers over to Xbox or something as well, but right now PlayStation 4 has that added bonus as well. Now, moving forward though, through this, there's going to be coming up the eight days of the undead, starting with May 16th, whenever Zombies Chronicles does launch. And there's going to be a whole slew of things here within this, some of which being eight new goblins gums to the community, a new weapon camo and calling card challenge that we can go for as a community that'll be based upon headshots and I'm super excited for that one. I thought that the community challenge back before COD XP was absolutely awesome. The main goal was the prize fighters melee weapon but overall it was just something that really brought the community together and really just focused on one single goal. And I thought it was a very cool way to unite the community once again on that front so I was totally stoked for that. I'm stoked to see it return once again. Double XP events and other things but the the coolest one I think here out of this that stems from this then is that there's a new feature within Zombies that the first spin of Gobblegum Machines is free, meaning you don't have to pay any points for it. Your first time using it in any match, it will be free, and this doesn't last just for a certain finite number of days or a certain period. This now, after this is activated, moves forward for the rest of eternity in Black Ops 3. Now, along with some of the other footage and the images that we've seen thus far in this video, the only other thing that there really was debuted to us was a story trailer in which it went through the maps covered within Zombies Chronicles and gave a little bit more uh, in terms of backstory, imagery, and just showcasing the maps all together. I'll drop the link down there in the description below for it if you guys want to check it out, but it's a great little trailer and great little video. Definitely recommend watching it, but that said, that's really it. There wasn't as much as many people would have maybe thought or anticipated in terms of information that came out, but from what we did get, it's pretty nice, I think. I'm happy with what we saw here today. Of course, the price tag is something that many people will debate whether it's worth it, whether it's not, whether it's too pricey, whether it's just right, whatever it may be, that is, of course, falling on personal preference. If you want to think about it in this regard, it's $375 per map, and that's without any of the extra stuff that you get added on top of that. But other than that, that's really all of the information that we have from the reveal here today. So Zombies Chronicle is going to be debuting some stuff here across YouTube, various YouTubers with early access. Going to be giving footage here within the next couple of days, but other than that, we just get to sit back and enjoy the hype now. So, that said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys a fan? Are you guys not a fan of, say, 
the price tag for Zombies Chronicles, and other than that, if you guys plan on picking it up, what map are you guys the most excited to play for? I think, personally, mine's gonna be Ascension by far. Maybe then Moon, and then Origins, so maybe Ascension, Moon, Origins, in that order. I'm pretty hyped. I'm honestly gonna be playing it so much, probably gonna be streaming a lot of it here, too, as well. So, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below as to all that stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles. We're gonna be keeping you guys up to date with everything everything killing it because I'm so hyped for this so if you guys also want to stay up to date with anything regarding World War 2 Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare Mastered stick it right here up on the channel so you don't miss a beat and finally if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter that's the best place to get connected here outside of YouTube I practically live on Twitter so if you guys want to check up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but hopefully you guys are having a great day my name is Nicole Espresso take care and peace <laughs>